from their own 23-yard line. It's third down. He's tackled right around the 48-yard line. We've got a first and ten. Ball on their own 48. 41's coming. 41 to Mike. Here we go, here we go. Play action. Going deep. This one will fall incomplete. Evans was intending to see the play. That makes it second and ten. Oregon State is up by a touchdown. Play fake. He airs it out. Spectacular play, and now it's first and goal. down and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Tackled after a decent pickup. Wall gains about four yards on the play. That brings him second and goal. Defense stacked in tight here. Touchdown Beavers. So he punches it into the end zone for the second time today. This young man is no stranger to the end zone. That's two rushing scores for him on the day, and you have to love the way he's been running the ball all game. Well, they're going to try for the two-point conversion. He's in for the conversion. Gets it high up in the air, not a lot of distance. Looking for the corner. They'll bring him down at the 30. Boy, this is turning into a shootout here. Now remember, the last time we saw this offense out in the field, they answered the bell and scored a touchdown. Can they do that now a second time? Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. From their own 31-yard line, second down. He passes it, and he's knocked down immediately after the catch. Game 16. First down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 47. Once and all, going deep. Tipped away. Uh, he took a shot downfield going for the big play, but the defender did a great job to follow it and then break it up.
from their own 47-yard line. It's second down. The back has it, and he dropped it. it deep nice catch on that one and down he goes at about the 17 yard line Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. I would be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. And he's going to be sacked. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. I would be interested to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. And now they're faced with another third and long as they try to convert and move those chains again. Let's see if a quarterback heaves it up there and one of his guys can come down with it. Deep pass to the end zone. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. game as we head to the half. Oregon State's up by 15. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. These teams only play one game a week, only 12 games in a normal regular season. I think fans have a hard time understanding why their squad can come out and play without any energy, any emotion. Keep it real with us. Tell us what it's like. Why is it hard for a player sometimes in a game like this? Well, if the fans showed the same emotion, then maybe we would too as a player. Because think about it. When I walk out there and I'm playing one of the big dogs, the stadium's rocking. They're, they're going crazy. They're going ballistic. They're hydrated. You know exactly what's going on. They're into it. They've been tailgating for hours. Well, there's a reason these little games they don't get up for us. They don't get as excited. They're not yelling and screaming as much. The, you could you could turn the it's like you turn the volume down at home. I mean, you can hear the difference. I know the difference. I know I'm supposed to beat this opponent. It's really a matter of just by how much I'm supposed to win by. So there is a difference. You can feel it in the fans, and, and you can feel it sometimes as a player. We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Fred Nestler and Kirk Herb Street ready with a call. And we welcome you back to the action here, just about set for the second half. Short kick, he didn't get a hold of that one. Hill takes it at the 32. They bring him down, and they bring him down hard on that one. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Quick out to his receiver. Tackle made around the 45-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. He's 
taken down at the 46. Turn man. <laughs> Brought down at the 26 yard line. Return for a game of six yards. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. 41's coming. 41's On the delay, and he's brought down immediately. That was just a case of one lineman dominating another and making the play. That'll bring up third and six. to the back. He wants it all. What a pick. And he's tackled around the 48-yard line. Well, that's exactly what they needed, Brad. Somehow to get the football back to their own offense. They need points on the board, and they need them in a hurry. And that turnover could help them out. From their own 48-yard line. First down. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That'll make it second and four. down now and they need to get it inside the 42. Fires in a hurry. Interception. Tackle at the 49-yard line. Well, he was facing a big pass rush. The ball had no chance of being caught by one of his teammates. That's what pressure will do for any defense. From their own 49-yard line, first down. And for Wall, that'll give him over 100 yards already. Sometimes guys will look a little rusty or not too sharp in the opening week. But he looks like he's got his rhythm today. Brought down after a nice run up 
the middle. That makes it second and six. From the 35 yard line, second down. their third first down of the drive. The defense needs to figure out a way to stop them or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board. First and ten. Ball on the 28-yard line. Here's the handoff, and he's taken down for a loss. That'll bring up second and 11. down now and they need to get it to the 18. He's going right. It's broken up. It's a good play here in the secondary. When the safety commits, he needs to be there at the right time because he's the last line of defense. They don't pick up the first down, and the ball will change hands. Great play there by the D. It's early in the season, but they show they don't get rattled at all. I give them a lot of credit. Offense comes back out looking to improve from their last effort. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. They'll knock him down for a loss. quarters of play and this one's a little tighter than the experts thought. Oregon State's up by 15. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Let's go! Under pressure, throws in a hurry. It falls incomplete. That makes it third and 15. It's third and 15. Ball on the 24. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. Norman is waiting for the snap. He's tackled at the 
33. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. He's at midfield. Inside the 30. And they make the stop at the 23. Ten following that big run. Inside the ten. Touchdown, Beavers. So the offense is going to go for two. Watch 14. Watch 14. Here we go, D. Here I come again. Here I come again. Go. And he's in for two. A quick two-play, 67-yard drive. And they add eight to the scoreboard after that successful two-point conversion. Brad, not only did they put points up on the board, but I think it's the way they did it. And that could be demoralizing for a defense. Dennis has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20, and he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. The Beavers have really been all over the place. They're playing like a defense possessed. I love to watch a defense just pin its ears back and just fly to the football. They are playing with a reckless attitude, and it's really paid off because it's set up their offense to be able to score points. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. Strike to the receiver. They'll bring him down right around the 26-yard line. That makes it second and six. Second and six coming up here. Ball on their own 26. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Third and six. Ball on the 26-yard line. Hit hard for a loss. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. Just under three to go in regulation. Short over the middle. And down he goes at the 36. Call it again in 12 yards. That makes it first and 10.
It's first and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. Going long. Missed him. Super effort to get the ball and knock it away. Real good job down the field. That makes it second and ten. From their own 36-yard line, it's second down. And he's hit immediately. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him the first down. That's just a nice play. Two minutes in the game. And he is drilled at the 44-yard line. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Navajo! Navajo! They bring the quarterback down. the sack it's now fourth and long Norman awaits the snap he'll take it from the eight and he's taken down at the 13 yard line So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Ready. He's taken down around the 34-yard line. You've got to play with that kind of purpose to move the ball against this defense. Under a minute left in the game. Cavalry's coming, and he's going to be sacked. The Beavers will use their first time out of the half. That'll make it second in line. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. He wants it all going long. Interception. And he's taken down right around the 34. 
Nice pick by the safety. Safety that time just sitting back there looking at the quarterback, and once it was thrown, he knew exactly where it was going, and he made the pick. From the 34-yard line, it's first down. He's going to air it long. He caught it for the touchdown. Great effort by the wide receiver. And not to take anything away from the quarterback, but the wide receiver made this play. You've always got to be on your toes when you're covering this guy. So the kicker is going to stay on the sidelines. These guys will try for a two-point conversion. And the running play fails on the two-point conversion. We'll have to see now how the offense responds this time after throwing a pick on their last drive. Giving the ball away can rattle your confidence, but he just needs to relax and not try to force it. He's starting off in great field position now. Can't pull it in. So not only did they risk an interception, but now they've given him more time. I just don't get it. Send him downfield like another wide receiver. Either way, he's a great resource on every down. Oregon State will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. Stays on the field as they try for the two-point conversion. Gives it off. They don't get it. With an extra point, you know it's almost automatic. But picking up those yards for the conversion, as they just found out, isn't so easy. like they're ready for the kick. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This offense threw the ball extremely well on their last drive, and they ended up with a touchdown. 
And I love to watch a quarterback when he can really get into sync with his wide receivers. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense. And right now, it's really paying off. From their own 25-yard line, second down. going to do it for this one. Our final score, Oregon State 36, Idaho 13. And the Bengals. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.
Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. A live look in at Reacher Stadium in Corvallis, Oregon, the site for today's showdown. Fans starting to work their way into their seats. Fans ready to play, and we're just about set to kick off. That's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I are back at halftime. Stadium, the setting for this college football showdown. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. the ball set and he looks ready to kick this one deep to open up the ball game here we go folks he's to the 20 he's out to the 30 and down he goes at the 31 now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it Decent pickup. The Beavers coaching staff has just been raving about this kid, putting up some monster stats this season. He's a great fit for their system. I think that's the key right now. That's one of the reasons why he's putting up numbers that are among the nation's elite. Second and four. Ball on the 36. it to the 47. He gets another set of downs and more importantly opens up a whole host of play calling possibilities for the coaching staff. can do offensively than to pound the ball right at the defense trying to wear them down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 39. Tackle after a decent run up the gut.
They're going to try for the two-point conversion. Oregon State with a six-point lead. And he's in for two. So that's a seven-play, 70-yard drive. And they add eight to the scoreboard after that successful two-point conversion. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running lanes. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And he makes it out to about the 17-yard line. You know, Herbie, for an offensive coordinator, he's got to love this kid. Edwards' decision-making abilities make him very effective against any defense he's ever played, really. Well, defenses have to put pressure on him and not let him get comfortable. If you allow him to scan the field, he'll simply pick you apart. If you can disrupt his rhythm, it'll give you a chance to at least shutting him down. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Straight up the middle, and he'll lose yardage. Two-yard loss for the halfback. From their own 15-yard line, it's second down. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Team. It's a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. Williams back deep to return. Williams fields at the 50, and he's taken down at the 41-yard line. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Oregon State up by eight. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. And they need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. And that was the sophomore linebacker there who was able to get in and make that tackle. Gets out to around the 22. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good-looking ball carrier. First and 10. Ball on the 22. Tackle at the 19. The back gets three on the carry. Gaining three yards. That'll make it second and seven. So the kicker is going to stay on the sidelines. These guys will try for a two-point conversion. He's in for the conversion. Everyone 
is all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. Gets to about the 17-yard line. They need to show a little giddy up now because if they don't start eating into this deficit, they could easily fall out of the game. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That brings him second and five. He's on the run. He's tackled at about the 41. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. He's taken down at the 43. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. Catches it, and he's looking for more. They'll bring him down around the 49-yard line. Edwards with the tackle at the 49-yard line. As we expected coming into this game, this one appears to be under control. Oregon State's got a 16-point lead. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Takes it and he's tackled short. the putter gets it away wait a minute he's gonna throw quick throw picked off gets to about the 34 yard line and we'll probably look back at that play as a game changer I agree Brad it's one of those situations where you look like a genius if it works and when it doesn't work well the 34-yard line. First down. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. So a nice little pitch and catch there, and that'll give the offense a first down. That was a very good-looking pass play to get more than enough yards to move the chains. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 16-yard line. Red, two, go. Nice run up the middle. Looking to cap this off with a touchdown. Up the middle for a nice game. Gaining four yards. That 
that brings up second and goal. We've got second and goal. Ball on the two. Touchdown, Beavers! That was a very good all-around effort. The running, the blocking, the entire package. A well-deserved score. They'll go for two in this situation. Mike 34, Mike 34. Scoop, scoop, scoop. And two. Green eight. And the running play fails on the two-point conversion. ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. Tackle at the 20-yard line. I think I can count on one hand the last time I saw this good a defensive performance where you had a chance for a shutout. Are you kidding me in college football today? With the spread and the running quarterbacks and all the speed in space, these guys got a chance to put up a shutout. Here's a step in the maturation of a young quarterback. How does he respond to throwing an interception on that last drive? The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 20. Ready! Rain on the top! Give to the tailback. And down he goes, right around the 18-yard line. Loss of two by the halfback. Third and 11 here. Ball on their own 18. Let's go! And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. And they pick up the first down with a pass to the tight end. It's easy to forget about the tight end sometimes coming off the line. But you always have to watch this guy because he's certainly capable of making big plays. made around the 31 yard line well you think about receivers coming over the middle taking shots from the safety but a runner who's still in the backfield this guy just flies all over the field from their own 31 yard line second down His man, and they take him down immediately. Call it a gain of four yards. That brings us third and ten. They bring him down. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only do they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun-shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on him. 
Fourth and long here Stingray! after the sack. Brown is waiting for the snap. into the end zone and this will be a touchback the beavers are just cruising through this first half for me really a comfortable lead here yep but still a lot of football left to be played they got to remember that it's a four quarter game and even though that first half went pretty well things can change in a hurry things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half these next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being Zips it right. Picked off. It's the cornerback. Brad, this week these coaches told us about how they want their players to fight and really be determined. Here they are down by a couple scores, and the defense comes up with a big interception, showing that character that their coaches wanted to see. From the 49-yard line, it's first down. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. to the halfback and he's level at the 38 you obviously have to worry about him as a ball carrier but he showed here that you have to be concerned about him as a receiver as well he's got good hands and you know he's good in the open field from the 38 yard line first down so an empty backfield with five wide receivers Get him out of his hands. at the 25. Impressive gain there by the do-it-all back. Wyoming's going to have to use their second time out of the half. From the 25-yard line, first down. And he hits him hard at the 15-yard line. Makes the grab and steps out right away. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Well, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver, and the result, again, a nice play for the offense. So with the half ending, they're just going to try to put three points up on the board. Kicks up, and it's good. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. Tigers came into the game ranked ninth. After the bitterly disappointing loss, how far will the Bolsters move them down? There's been an upset. And for Tidwell, he had a touchdown run in this one. North Carolina gets the W, 17-13. Wow, what an upset. I'm not sure anybody would have predicted that one. They're probably just going to squib this kick. I don't think they want to see the return man create lightning before halftime. From the seven. He's out to the 30. 
He's taken down at the 40-yard line. We've played a half of football here. The Beavers in front by 19. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. Fielded at the four. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. the toughness here by this quarterback just sitting in until the last second trying to make a play downfield only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. It's third down and five to go. Ball on the 28. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Runs it right and can't get away. Nice tackle. There's nothing better than having an athletic, versatile, and instinctive safety. He makes a big time play here with his recognition of the run. Comes up and does what he does best, which is making a nice short tackle on the ball carrier. Nice run there. And they make the stop at the 49-yard line. A nice-looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. Tackle around the 40-yard line. That's a game of 11. Let's go, let's go, fellas, let's go. First down. Him down for a loss. From the 41 yard line, second down. Complete and he's hit right away. Call it a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up third and four. He's under pressure. Moves up in the pocket and down he goes. The Cowboys running back sidelined earlier with that injury. Right now, though, it looks like he's uh, warming up and trying to get back in the ball game. Big kick here to try to pin the offense deep in their own territory. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. And 
here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Play action. Rose. They can't connect. Incomplete. Evans is intended to see the play. That makes it second and ten. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 20 yard line. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's good work, four yards. Third down. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Kind of surprising here that they didn't elect to punt. I don't agree with this call. Tackled after a decent pickup. Makes the handoff. Trying to get it to the tight end, but it falls to the ground. Vincent is the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. From their own 34-yard line. Second down. Pick up through the air has made it first and goal. He's taken down around the five yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. Positive yardage. That makes it 30 goal. From the one yard line, it's third down. run and a score by the halfback and a nice call by the coach there just give it to your main man anytime you're near the goal line this isn't how you earn any style points in my book come on guys let's be good sports down there oregon state comes to the line holding that commanding lead and the running play fails on the two-point conversion a quick update now here's reese the Cardinals came into the game ranked 11, and now they're waiting to see how far they'll fall. And for Georgia Tech, they grab a W in the season opener. Georgia Tech prevails. They win by five. Well, that's an absolutely shocking upset. You can count on that one to turn the polls upside down when they're released. 
Dennis ready to kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 26-yard line. Not a whole lot's been working for them so far. They should just come out and play loose and easy because they've got nothing to lose. Now, barring a miracle in the fourth quarter, this one's academic. The Beavers lead 28-3. This one has been a blowout since the beginning. Hopefully the fourth quarter will turn things around. Drives to set up the screen, but drops. That makes it third and seven. It's third down and seven yards to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. Here we go. And a quick throw. Well, that's a nice stop right there here early in the fourth quarter, but they've made those kind of plays all day, and that's why we've got a blowout on our hands. to punt. teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. Oregon State looking to build on this commanding lead here. Gets out to around the 45. First and ten. Ball on the 45-yard line. Nice run, and he's brought down. Wall picks up about seven yards on the run. to pick up the first down. And down he goes at the 44. From the 44-yard line, it's first down. Less than three minutes in the game. He's tackled at the 43-yard line. the hand. 
Cristiano tackled for a loss. That brings us third and ten. They'll line it up again on third down. He launches one for the end zone. And this will be caught. Touchdown. I really don't see why they think it's necessary to go for two points here. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. Check out what's going on in Boulder. This game was so tight, every play seemed to be of the utmost importance. California gets the win, 24-17. 34-3 in our game. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. Drop down at the 18-yard line. Edwards' game was off all day. I think you got to credit the defense. Yeah, the defense came up with a plan to be able to take him out of the game, and it worked to perfection. The deficit is huge, but as a player, you never want to slow down your effort. Believe me, coaches notice the ones who aren't trying that hard. Just under two to go in the game. Slings it right, and it falls incomplete. That's a miscommunication between a quarterback and a wide receiver right there. They need to get their signals straight. Makes it second and ten. From their own 18-yard line, second down. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Slings it out and it gets tipped. Fred, I noticed during practice this week that this linebacker may be a wide receiver or running back at heart. He's messing around during practice with some of the offensive skill players. Really, it pays off for him here as he's able to show enough instincts there to be able to knock that ball away. Taken down at the 43. Makes the catch and look out. He goes out of bounds at the 45 yard line. That'll make it second and seven. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 45. Gets it out to his receiver, and he can't hang on. Just under two minutes in the game. Here we go. Three. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. Well, a nice stop there late in the fourth quarter, but it's a blowout. It has been for most of the game. I think it's time for everybody to go. He's going to try to cough and corner this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. We're 
late in the fourth quarter. This game has been a blowout for quite some time, and Kirk and I are just looking to make our flights. He chucks it downfield. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. You know, Brad, the defensive coordinator does a nice job with the coverage call here. Everybody's in position to be able to make the play. The only problem is they didn't intercept the football. That's something that uh, they got to be happy with the coverage, but not happy with the result. From their own 20-yard line, it's second down. Green nine, green to go. He lets it fly. Almost picked off. This is the intended that brings us 30 to 10. He's going to air it long. And got him! At the 30. The 10. And he's tackled right around the two-yard line. He goes over 100 yards in receptions. you got to love this quarterback-receiver combo. Talking to these guys before the game, they told me they spend about an hour after every practice perfecting the routes. It sure shows. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Oregon State up big right now in this one. Touchdown, Oregon State! Well, another score here late in the fourth quarter, but all it does is add to the blowout. This one's over. And it looks like they'll continue to rub it in here. They're lining up for two. They got it. A four-play, 80-yard drive. And they'll come away with a two-point conversion. Boy, that is scoring in a hurry. This offense is looking more and more explosive. Dennis gets set to kick this one away. Fielded at the nine. Tackle made at the 28-yard line. The Beavers have a defense that's a sight to behold, Kirk. Well, they just play with a chip on their shoulder. They are all over the field. The defensive line knows their job. The linebackers, the safeties, the corners. Everybody plays as one, and they've been fun to watch today. I don't expect any once-in-a-lifetime rallies here. But that being said, we could still see some exciting plays. He makes his way to about the 38. Yard line. That brings up second and one. That's going to do it for this one. Our final score Oregon State 42, Wyoming 3. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Curb Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.